things about Okoy and mm. her childhood and stuff like that. And that's when she told me about the massacre or the riots, some people call it, and how that, um, and, uh, you know, the Klan and all of them came and burned, burned them out. She said she could stand on their front porch and just watch houses going up all wow. around and got close and close until they had to flee themselves. And uh, they flee, uh, fled to the swamps and uh, hid out in stump holes. You know, I just had how gruesome that must be in a soggy swamp in a hole, you know. Right. But for the, for the save their lives, that's what they did until they felt safe enough the next day or so to come out. And uh, when they came out, luckily enough, there was uh, still, uh, he had livestock, he had animals, you know. He, so they were able to uh, hook the mule up to a wagon and he sent her and the children at the time onto a poplar mm -hmm. to the, some of the back trails and stuff like that. How she just said she, they were stopped by some white men on horses and stuff, but uh, you know, they let them go. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I guess some people, they made new people, they knew white people too. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, they all weren't bad, but you know, 